Hi, welcome back to AQA Certificate Further Mathematics GCSE. Today we're on chapter 4.8, Limiting Value of a Sequence. This is a great A video. I hope you enjoy it. Let us start. So, something to note about the limiting value is that if a sequence is a fraction, like if it is represented as a fraction, it will be a limit. Like, there will be some sort of a limit, most likely. And the smaller uh, numbers turns insignificant and can be excluded in calculation. And that is why we are trying to get um, limiting values, because although it never reaches that point uh, because of that small number in uh, influencing the whole thing, but Actually, if you have a really ridiculously big n number, it will um, basically that one turns less and less in, uh, significant. It's just like one is significant in 10, but it is less significant in 1000, and it is definitely not significant in a quadrillion. Uh, you can see that that way. So, how shall we find limiting values? First of all, um, what we mean by limiting value is as n goes closer and closer to infinite or infinity, uh, we can basically remove uh, the smaller number that are insignificant, which is negative 1 and positive 1, because they are just too small to make a difference. And so we're left with something that looks like this. And you know what? You can cancel out things in a limiting value uh, fraction because it is still, uh, no matter how big n is, n is still n. So that goes away and so as n goes as large as infinity, this um, gets closer and closer to three uh, quarters, but it never reaches it. So this is how we uh, label uh, limiting value as LIM, then fraction. So the limiting value of this particular sequence is three quarters. So the important thing about limiting value is that you know what is not significant at all and what to just remove it from the picture so that you can get the limiting value. Most of the time you can uh, just simply cross out things and but I think it is possible to have um, quadratics that you have to factorize and cancel out to get the limiting value. It can be tricky like that sometimes. And my best um, suggestion to you is to do a lot of exercise about uh, limiting values because every single one of them are different and you have to find them out. It's p pretty simple so it's, it's quite natural to a lot of people that I know. So. Yeah, that might be a relief for you. So I have two limiting uh, sequence that I want you to find out the limiting value. And yeah, so I'll give you some time to pause the video and solve the answer of these two questions. So, uh, the two limiting values as the answer are shown on the table, uh, shown on the screen. Uh, this is actually a negative number because uh, it is a negative 2n, I believe, that I remember. So, it is a negative limit. So, yeah, that's it for uh, this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, uh, then give me some like, uh, give me some comments as well, and 
If you have anything to ask, feel free to ask it in the comment section. I'll respond to them for every single um, one of them, other than those that is not a question. So some, I think, um, uh, people who say praises are just, um, I'll just see them say thank you, I think, then it's ended. So if, but if it is a question, I will explain it as far as I can before I stop saying anything. Uh, or if they say, oh, I, un I understand now, thank you, uh, things like that, it's just how I work and I will try my best to help everyone that uh, supports my channel and watch my video. And yeah, that's it for me, uh, from me and I will see you next time.